Don't adjust your sets. Yes, it is me, Yocan Phil. Minus the hat for once. Uh, it's a funny thing I put on a post um, on Instagram the other day. If uh, I should go grunge with the long, nasty hair, or if I should get a haircut. Well, haircut wins. So, <laughs> here we go. What's up, guys? Great to see you. Thanks for coming back to the channel. A uh, quick toy hunt for today's video. We're going to stop by Vintage Stock, where I'm at right now in the parking lot. See what they got. I haven't been here for a while. Um, kind of see what's going on. Sometimes they get new stuff. Sometimes they have older stuff. So it's just kind of good to come here maybe once, twice, once every couple months. Kind of see what's going on. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I don't think I'll have time to go anywhere else. So it'll probably just be vintage stock. Also got some mail that I will show you guys at the end of the video. So that is the plan. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Thanks for uh, being at the premiere. This is a premiere video, of course. Uh, we're adjusting the time, as you notice, 10 p.m. Or, uh, not 10 p.m., that'd be terrible. 10 a.m. Central Time from now on. Uh, just changing it up, see how this goes. We might actually start posting videos on Saturday, too. Um, just trying some new stuff. Viewership's down a little bit, which is fine. No big deal. But uh, trying some new things. So let's do it. We're on the hunt. Vintage stock. See you guys inside. All right, guys, starting a vintage stock. Let's take a look in the case first. See what we got. We've got some Lego Star Wars Black Chrysanthemum. There's a uh, $60 Dengar in there from the uh, red line. And we got a couple of statues of Soundwave and Optimus Prime. Two of the ones I actually don't have, but I'm not prepared to pay $37 a piece for those. And a nice Galactus. Uh, I think that's a glow in the dark pot, so that's kind of cool. And then a Baroness. Yes, look at that the Baroness statue, so that's cool. Bloody Valentine, not into that at all. So that's what we've got there. There's another one of those Galactus Pops, so that's kind of cool. Um, over here we've got some, actually I have both of these. We've got these on clearance, it looks like $7.99. Actually I have both of those, I got those the last time we came here. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we can run into real quick. Red of Lantern, we got some Pops, some anime. If you guys didn't hear, the uh, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is about $16 on uh, Target.com. Also, ran into these. Look at this. There's a couple of Super 7 Ultimates in here. Slash and that Mikey. Looks like there might be some stuff behind there, too. So maybe we'll ask them what they got behind there. That might be interesting. So we'll take a look at that. Let's head down to the next case here. Next case, not much to speak of. Just a Batman cookie jar. That's about it as well. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, so um, if you're into the minis at all, here we go. We've got a ton of, actually, <laughs> it'd be kind of cool to get some of those, the Seinfeld ones. We got G.I. Joe, we got Star Wars, we got Pixar, What If, Disney, all kinds of the minis. So if you guys are into those, definitely got a ton of those. Also got some Bandai Mandalorian which I have the Chrome version, which is a really good version. And then all kinds of Star Wars. Remember we're at vintage stock, so things are gonna be a little higher. Actually, that Ahsoka's only 18, so that's not bad. I don't have that. That looks really cool. I might consider that. Uh, biggest strip off of the year right there, unfortunately. And then some new figures too. That, that's the thing, oh, sorry guys. That's the thing with vintage stock. Every once in a while you can find some new stuff. There's our Trooper Fives. I mean, it's retail, so it's not a bad deal. Also got a lot of some of the newer figures. Cobb Vance, 40 bucks. That's steep for Cobb Vance. Soka clones for 20 a piece. We've got Death Watch Mandos for 30 a piece. And then even got a um, First Order Jet Trooper carbonized down there. You guys know we love the carbonized. And oddly enough, oh man, is that steep. Look at the price of that, 50 bucks. Guys, you can get them on Amazon for about 42, so don't pay 50 bucks. That's unfortunate, that's that high here. Really shouldn't be. But yeah, some decent stuff. Got some retros as well. Uh, let's take a look at some Power Rangers over here real quick. Got Black Space Ranger. These are all on sale for, well, at least the top three are. All on sale for $20.99. And uh, yeah, quite a bit, not bad. Let's see if we can find some Marvel in DC real quick. All right, a little bit of Marvel here. I'm going to show you something I've never seen. There's that three and three quarter scale Sentinel. That thing is awesome, actually. I don't know if there's a price on it. I think it's really cool. I don't do Marvel, but if I did. Okay, so it's 30. 
You guys tell me, is that a good price? That, that is an awesome looking figure. I mean, he's like the size of my hand. Really, really cool figure. Actually, he's bigger than my hand. And then also got the Goblin, Shocker, Hammerhead, more Galactus, Pops. Got some Ghostbusters as well. More Universal Monsters, that's Frankenstein. There's the new Dracula everyone's finding. I haven't seen this yet. That looks really good, actually. Great Bo Lugosi Dracula. Looks very, very nice. Really cool looking figure. I like that. Um, also got Wolfman and King Kong. Some Gundam down there. Shout out LeBron Frett. Oh, we got Hot Wheels. And then we've got Kingdom Hearts here. So a little bit going on. Not a ton. Let's go back down this way. I know there's a lot more DC and Marvel down this way. So let's go see what we can find real quick. They do have some sales going on too, which is always nice to see. I don't see any new DC at all, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping to see the new Dark Knight wave, but I'm not seeing that. We might go to uh, GameStop's just across the street, so we might actually go to GameStop after this. I want to see that wave. If it is good enough, I will get it. I've heard bad things about it, so I'm not counting on a lot. But you guys tell me, is that wave any good? It doesn't look good. <laughs> got some Batman animated series. Those things have gotten pricey. So we got Deceased, and then tons of Marvel Legends. Some newer ones, a lot of older ones. We got Crow, Despair, Marvel's The Hood, Marvel's Arcade, Havoc, Thor, Sharon Carter, Valkyrie, a lot of the What Ifs, Black Panther. Doctor Strange, Weapon X. Yeah, I mean, there is a ton of Marvel Legends here. Again, if you guys need anything, let me know. Um, all my buddies on YouTube, if you guys are looking for anything, let me know. Got some Eternals. We just can't get away from those ever. And, yeah, buy 10, get $10. I don't know how good of a deal that is. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, here is our spawn section. We got Ninja Spawn, Raven Spawn, Haunt, Raven Spawn, Redeemer, Soul Crusher, she spawn, overkill, really mostly just the ones you guys have seen before. So, but a decent selection. And let's see, down this aisle, we've got some Transformers. You guys know I'm gonna be taking a look at that. Got drag strip, skids, kickback. And of course, we've got some Mortal Kombat 11's uh, McFarlane figures. Who ordered the McFarlane Batmobile? I think everybody did because it's sold out. I got it for 60 bucks on um, Amazon. Whether you guys like Amazon or not, I got it for 60 bucks on Amazon. So good deal. Very excited for that Batmobile. I'll be doing a review on that. Probably kind of like everybody else. Um, also got some wrestling here. We got McIntyre, Liv Morgan. Got some Joes. I have all these Joes, so we're not going to be too interested in that. And then a lot more. I told you guys, a lot more Super 7s, but it looks like it's all Slash and Sewer Mikey. And look at those prices. Guys, that is unfortunate because you can get those for about $30 cheaper on Amazon. So that's unfortunate. Also got some Best Actions. I actually have all these too. So nothing crazy there. But that's really unfortunate with the Slash and the Sewer Mikey because... I would consider the Sui Mikey if he was actually a decent price, but that's that's horrible. 70 bucks is way too much. I do like the lunchbox though. Lunchbox is very, very cool. There's also one down there too. And then I didn't show you guys these statues. There's a snake guy's a destro. And of course you got Crocmaster. Vintage stock is so hit and miss, guys. Sometimes you're running a great deer deal, other times not so much. Let's go take a look at the loose figures over here, see if we got anything. Usually not. Uh, it's very rare we actually find something here that's loose, that's decent. There's a Gundam right there. Got, that's pretty good looking. So got TIE Fighter, but that's pretty old. <laughs> actually have a Lord of the Rings 3-pack there, the, the Urukai. And there's a 12-inch Kanan. So that's cool. Got one of those old... I don't even remember what these called. What were these called? You guys tell me. I can't even remember those. I used to have some of those back in 2005. x wings Yeah, not much. Not much at all. So, also got some cool posters there. That one looks pretty good. Let's 
see, what else do we got here? We've got some starting lineups too. I've showed you guys these before. But I mean this is when this is the glory days of the starting lineup. I mean stuff's fantastic. I wish they had a Griffey. I know they had a Griffey one time. They even got the football, Ricky Waters. Oh a TD. One of my favorite backs ever. Geez, that's almost worth a pickup right there just for the card. That's cool. I actually have considered getting into some of these. Not the new ones, the old ones. All right, let's see what else I got. All right, guys, ran into some more stuff. Actually, I, I wish that wasn't $20 because I'd totally buy that Michael Scott soda. That is awesome. I would totally buy that, but not for $20. Also found us some cool statues. Look at that WandaVision. Looks really good. And then we've got another one down there. Got Carter Pops. And then I definitely want to show you guys this Doc Ock statue. Get a look at that. Looks really cool, 60 bucks, not too bad for a statue. So got a Miles Morales there too, that looks pretty good. And then Carnage stuffies. So yeah, some decent stuff. They have an entire section of pops up front. I might just show you guys just for the hell of it. Tons of anime, let's spin around here. As you can guys see too, all of that's movies and DVDs. So this place is stacked. Honestly, their collectible section's gotten a lot better too. So, and more Gundams, those look really cool. I like those and of course more pops the joker is <laughs> that's pretty cool i like the joker the flash the flash looks really good and then of course more anime stuff let's go take a look at those pops real quick all right guys so all you pop lovers i'm not sure how many pop lovers actually watch this channel because i'm not but if you do that one's cool i like the uh eastman and laird's casey jones looks good and emperor master Marodu just Dr. Doom looks good. The zombie Dr. Doom looks really cool. He's got a Mando helmet checking us out right there. Every one of these pops is on clearance. It's punchy. The Merman looks pretty good. Ray. Yeah, a lot going on. Even got loose pops. Don't ask me who they are, but they got loose pops. Some down there also. And then, of course... <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd Christmas getting a haircut. <laughs> I mean, I gotta hand it to Funko. You know, they're, Funko's in a little bit of trouble with uh, their their profits and stuff, but they are very creative on the pops that they do make. <laughs> it's Iron Man. Yeah, uh, who knows how long Funko's actually gonna last. I think I heard they lost like 42 million or something last year, so we'll see how much longer pops actually last. It's a whole Beanie Baby thing anymore, but... Yeah, there you go, guys. They have got a ton of them at my vintage stock. And then there's all the more of these little ones. As we spin around, we got even more pops. So yeah, if you like pops, hit your vintage stock. A lot of them are the same where they have the clearances to fry kids. Look at that. Love the fry kids. Looks good. All right, guys. Well, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Catch up with the pickups from here and some mail. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys. We're into one more thing. You guys have heard me talk about the difference between retail cards and hobby boxes. Well, we're going to run into some hobby boxes here. <laughs> Let me show you the difference. So $199 for those Inception. $199. I'm sorry, $159. $199 for the Tier 1. Those are going to be hobby boxes. There's even one with the triple threads there. It's 375 the one with Fernando Tatis. These are the expensive cards. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, right here, you can see a pack of Illusions, $40. 529 for the one with Trevor Lawrence on it. These are your big timers, guys. Um, like I said, you're not going to see that on this channel because I'm not spending that kind of money, but still cool. There's also some Garbage Pail Kids, too, and Desert Storm. I was kind of hoping they'd have some older packs. But uh, probably the pro set right there in the back, the Desert Storm. That's about as old as we're going to get. Because I am into the vintage packs. But yeah, still very cool to see some uh, hobby packs. I mean, look at that right there. There's $110 for a pack of select. So just crazy prices. But if you're into that, I didn't know Vintage Stock had these, but they do. So yeah, if you guys are into the hobby boxes with the cards, definitely check out Vintage Stock. All right, guys, so there is the hunt. I actually just got off of uh, Yakin' with Yukon with Matt from Mad About Toys. Did a great job. Thanks to all you guys um, in the chat. Thanks to Matt for being on. He did awesome. 
Uh, all you guys in the chat, thank you so much. We had a peak of like 22, 23, so really, really good audience, really, really good conversation that you guys had. Sorry if I was a little distracted, just trying to keep up with the chat. You guys were lively tonight, so thank you again to Matt. Thank you again to everybody in the chat. Let's go over some pickups that I had, um, not only from vintage stock, but from the mail as well. Let's start out with vintage stock. Let me go ahead and grab them here real quick. We have got two pickups from vintage stock. First one being the Terrell Davis starting lineup figure. Got this for six bucks. That's awesome. Actually, the card's in pretty decent condition. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him on card or not, but I really like this. Going to be looking for an Emmett Smith, John Elway, Barry Sanders, Montana, all the old guys, but I really like this. I passed on the Junior Seau for now, but I might go back and get him. Fortunately, the back is just kind of a bunch of... It's a story of when the Broncos won the Super Bowl. There you go. So, cool pickup for six bucks. Also, stumbled across this as I was walking around. This is a Elite Squad Clone Trooper. Don't have this yet. 1999. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, nice to have the Elite Clone Trooper as well. Um, probably not going to need any more of these. One's probably good. Just wanted to have one. So, vintage stock, guys. If you got one in your area, definitely recommend it. Watch the prices, they kind of fluctuate all over. But if you look hard enough, you can find a good deal. That's a deal. The starting lineup's a deal, too. So very happy with those pickups. A couple of other little items I got when I was out and about. Didn't do any hunt videos. I mean, it's... Okay. Tangent. GameStop. Now, 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 if you work at GameStop, if you own GameStop, whatever the hell you have to do with GameStop, let me... Uh, let's, let's do the L in it. Let me talk to you. Okay. I bought Scorch. When I say <laughs> that I don't want to sign up for the pro member thing, and this is the problem I have with GameStop, guys, why so I don't film there. I've never had someone be so disrespectful and push, kind of like a used car salesman, on me to get sign up for a thing, the pro thing, in my life when I bought this figure. I nearly took this figure and threw it back at the uh, representative, the employee working at GameStop, because she was so damn rude when I told her I didn't want to sign up for that. So... If you guys go to GameStop, you don't want to sign up for the pro thing, and they keep pushing you, man, if it was me, they do it again, I'm walking out, and I will not buy anything from GameStop again. Tangent. Moving on, Scorch. <laughs> I did get Scorch there. 30 bucks. I mean, the only reason I got them is because I have the rest, and I wanted to complete the set, but 30 bucks. I mean, geez. He looks good, but, um, yeah. GameStop, guys. Mmm. Uh, I was at Target the other day, just grabbing some groceries, finally caught the last foot soldier. The la they had the last foot soldier they had, the last retro I needed. So we're up to date on Turtle Retro, which I'm very happy about. Foot soldier has been very difficult to find for me um, in Oklahoma, so I don't know what's going on with that. But finally ran into one at Walmart the other day. Happy to have that. All right, really quickly, let's go over some pickups. I'm going to do this very quickly because we don't want to keep going for hours on end with the haul portion but this is from amazon amazon's been weird lately i've been having a lot of shipments get delayed and uh, canceled lately so i'm not sure what's going on with that hopefully that trend doesn't continue as you guys know me i'm kind of a big amazon guy myself and wow it's kind of beat to hell uh it's dusty but geez look at this i don't remember i think this was an amazon amazon warehouse but man that's just trash right there Hopefully the figure's okay, but got dusty finally. Uh, that's probably going to be it for me on Joe's. I think I'm pretty well caught up uh, so far. So dusty. Happy to have him finally. Got him for like 20 bucks on the Amazon warehouse deal. Uh, next box is this. Uh, this is another thing that Amazon's been doing that I'm not really understanding here. It's this weird kind of box that they're using, and it's just... Well, it's difficult to open, I know that, and it's it doesn't really make a lot of sense why they're using these. I mean, jeez. <laughs> you know what? Next time we're going to pre-open that. But, the Riddler. Gotta have a Riddler. Looks pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of an updated version. He's all kind of hippity-hoppity. It's really kind of weird, but... Hey, it's a Riddler. I need a riddle. Riddler for my DC shelf. So there he goes. I do like the back, though. The question mark's really cool. I do like that. That looks awesome. So got the Riddler. Happy to have him. Um, 
DC is few and far between on this channel anymore, to be honest with you guys. It's just Batman, Batman villains. And I've cut down on how many Batmans I actually buy. So there you go. Last one. I promise this is the last one. We got to deal with another crazy box here. Pull to open. Yeah, pull to open. Okay. <laughs> These boxes are insane. Amazon, I, I don't know what you've been doing lately, but uh, craziness. You guys can see what I'm going through here, right? Ugh. I mean, it's madness. It's madness. Like, what, what am I going to say during this? You know, Amazon, you suck. <laughs> oh, nice. This looks awesome. Had to resort to Amazon for this one. Target hasn't got them in my area. I don't know what's going on, but there is a skeleton. Look at that head sculpt. Frank Langella head sculpt. I will not be getting the He-Man. It looks like trash. This looks awesome, though. Um, expect a review on this this week. Probably this and maybe the Riddler, I'm thinking. But there is the Skeletor. Look at the back. Looks amazing. Very, very cool. I cannot believe how accurate that likeness is. Happy about that. I better be happy because I had to pay full price. All right. That's the haul. Six minutes. Sorry it took a while, but these boxes killed me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a comment, like, subscribe. Next week on Yakin' with Yukon, I will have Geek Strong. Dean is my guest. And uh, looking forward to that. I think that'll be a really good show. Dean's a cool guy. If you haven't, kept, uh, haven't checked out Geek Strong, go check it out. Subscribe. That's it for me. If you guys liked it, you know what to do. I will see you guys on Wednesday at the next video, probably a toy review. You guys have a good one. Later. <laughs>